Greetings. Here we will see the implementation of three input majority function using a four by one multiplexer. Okay. This majority function is nothing there is, it's very simple. So for example, I have say some three inputs like W1, W2, W3. Let me take some output as F. Now, if majority of the inputs are zero, then output becomes zero. Similarly, if majority of the inputs are ones, then output becomes one. So this is very simple. So let me take its truth table. So say, let me take W1, W2, W3, followed by, you have say F. So now what I'll do is, let me take like I have four zeros and I have four ones here. So zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, 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 zero, one, one. In the very first case, I have majority. I have all zeros. So therefore my F becomes zero. Majority two zeros. So therefore F is again zero. So again, what I have here, majority I have two zeros, so therefore again zero. In this case, majority I have ones, so therefore one. So zero, I have one, one, and one. So that's it. So W1, W2, W3, and F, we have like this. So how are we going to implement this using four by one marks? So for that, what I will do here is, out of three elements available here, W1, W2, W3, let me take two as select lines or select variables in this case. See, I can take a select or control inputs can be W1, W2, or I can take W1, W3, or I can take any two. I can take any two. There is no partiality for any one case. I can take any one case, but traditionally what I'll do I'll take W1 and W2 as my select inputs or control inputs because I can see the 0001, you know, 1011 next to one another. So therefore I feel this is more comfortable for me to work with. So I'll take like this W1, W2, F. Yeah, why I'm taking two select inputs here because I want to implement using four by one marks. So for four by one marks I require two select inputs. So therefore, as we have two select inputs, the combinations we have four in number, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Now, now you tell me in this case, what we have is this. When W1 and W2 equal to zero, now what is my output? F is equal to zero because irrespective of W3, because W3 is changing from zero to one, but still f is zero, zero. So therefore I take f equal to zero for this combination of w1 and w2 that is both are zeros. So when both are zeros, my output is simply a zero. Now I'll take, I'll go for case two. So here I have this combination when w1, w2 equal to zero, one. Okay, zero, one. My f equal to what? F equal to, I can say W3 because in W3, I have zero one. The same thing is again here. So therefore I would say here, F is equal to W3. All right. Now again, I have another case. So this case is, I have here W1, W2 as one zeros. If this is the case, now I'm seeing here, F equal to zero one. If you see carefully, this guy W3 is also equal to zero one. That means when W1, W2 equal to one zero, F is equal to W3. So I will write here W3. Now, again, the last case is this. Uh, let me take uh, which color, okay. Anything, I call it this color. When W1, W2 equal to one one, okay. Now my F equal to what? F is irrespective of W3. I have zero one here, but I'm, I'm seeing only one one in this case. So therefore I would say F is equal to one. Okay, so therefore 
for the last case, f is equal to one. That's it. Now we can implement this using four by one multiplexer. Okay. So let me take this black. All right. So drawing. This is my four by one mux. All right. And I have two select lines that is W1 and W2 and my output is F. Now let me take my input. So I have two select lines and I have four combinations here. So I have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. All right. Now simple, you connect these things. So I have zero here, right? So you, when W1, W2 equal to zero, so I have zero here. So this zero will be selected and connected to the output F now, okay? Similarly, I have for this combination W1, W2 equal to zero, I mean zero one, I have here W3. So this is my W3. And again, for this combination one zero, again, I have F equal to W3. So therefore I would say like this, I can connect the same here. And again, the last one is one. Simple, finished, right? So therefore you see when W zero, W two equal to zero. So this guy will be selected and he will be given to the output. Okay, and that is what you have F equal to zero. So F equal to zero, you will get. Similarly, if I take W one equal to zero and W two equal to one, what happens now? is this guy will be selected, okay? So this zero one, I mean, this W2 will be selected and he will be connected to the output. So therefore my F is equal to here, W3, so on. Remaining things you can do, okay? So this is a very simple implementation, that's it.